Are the two measurements shown here the same? To a scientist, these numbers are numerically the same, but they were produced by two different measuring devices. The second measurement was taken with a measuring device that had much more accuracy. The way you report a number in physics communicates the accuracy of your measuring device. The last digit in your measurement is always an estimate. The significant digits in a me measurement are all the digits in your measurement that you are certain of plus your estimate. The first measurement has three significant digits and the second one has four. Look at the three measuring devices shown here. If you are measuring volume with, with these three devices, which one do you think would give you the most accurate measurement? If you said the third one, you would be correct. The smallest division is 0.1 milliliter. When we report a number in physics, we always show the accuracy of our measuring device by including all the numbers we know for certain and the one digit we had to estimate. The number at the end of these three measurements represent an estimate done by the measurer. The first measurement has two significant digits, the second one has three, and the third one has four significant digits. Rules for counting significant digits. When you multiply, divide, or add numbers in physics, your answer must reflect the number of significant digits that were put into your equation. So you must be able to find the number of significant digits in all the numbers you're putting into your equation. Rule number one, non-zero digits are always significant. Look at 46.78, that has four significant digits. 3.94 has three, they're all non-zero numbers. Any zeros between two significant digits are significant. So the, that zero between the non-zero, four and nine, that's significant. So that is three significant digits. So a zero trapped between non-zero numbers is always significant. Rule number three, a final zero or trailing zeros in, a, in the decimal portion of a number are always significant. The leading zero, 0, 0.0, that doesn't count. Only the bolded numbers are actually significant. So 7, 0, 3, 0, all of those are significant. That number has four significant digits. Again, tr leading zeros don't count. So 8, 0, 0, those last three, those last two zeros count. That has three significant digits, the non zero eight and the two zeros that are, that are trailing. The third rule is the final zero or the trailing zeros in a decimal portion are significant. Let's look at two more examples. 66.500 times 10 to the fourth has four significant digits because trailing zeros count in a decimal. 3400 has only two significant digits because trailing zeros do not count uh, when it's not a decimal. Trailing zeros, trailing zeros only count in decimals. So let's finish with four more examples. We have 0 .09060. This is a decimal, the trailing zero counts, and the zeros in between non-zero zero numbers do as well. Uh, that's four significant digits. Another decimal, trailing zeros count, but we start counting. The leading zeros do not count. We don't count the first three zeros, so four zero zero, that's three significant digits. This is not a decimal, so the trailing zeros don't count. That's only one significant digit. And the last one is not a decimal two. Trailing zeros don't count. Two significant digits. So leading zeros and a decimal don't count. Trailing zeros in a decimal do count. When multiplying and dividing significant figures, your answer must reflect the number of significant figures in your equation. With multiplication and division, your answer should have the same number of significant digits as the term with the fewest number of significant digits. The number in our equation with the smallest number of significant figures is 0.46. Since it has two significant digits or significant figures, our answer should also have two significant figures. When adding and subtracting significant digits, your answer should have the same number of decimal places as the term with the fewest decimal places. If you look at this addition here, the number that has the fewest number of decimal places is 4.58. It has two decimal places, so our answer should have two decimal places.
This is the end of my presentation on counting significant digits.